What's up, blockchain? How y'all doing today? Coming at you with the uh, crypto income report. Gonna just go over all the good stuff going on. How we're bringing in and raking in these crypto gains. So uh, things have been going pretty dang good. We're gonna start right here with BitsGap. Um, BitsGap's going good. I guess we should start talking about the market for one sec. Ethereum, as we know, all time highs. Everything's going crazy. Big pump going on, and I am slowly pulling out the Ethereum that I make and the Ethereum I have and putting it into alts and going a little more into Bitcoin at the moment. So there's all that good stuff and uh, reasons for that. You know, there's a lot of uh, different indicators saying that uh, Bitcoin, you know, is basically bottomed and should run against ethereum on the bitcoin ethereum chart so we'll see how that plays out i imagine both gain value with um uh, in dollars but um i think that bitcoin is going to in the short term gain on uh ethereum of course we will see right everyone's portfolio is up a lot of portfolios up a lot of things looking very good um this is wealth locks one i'm looking at right now i think that's gonna be big and uh, super undervalued but uh, not gonna be part of today's video but yeah portfolios overall green i generally buy what's red i know a lot of people like to set up things to buy you know what's going up and what's green and it's certainly a strategy that can work because you're gonna catch a lot of pumps and then you're gonna be end up lot of you know holding a lot of bags but generally your pumps will you know outpace the uh the bags you're holding right and a uh, good way to come in here and on to um coin market cap wherever you like to be look at here seven days for uh who who coin and that's like right after i launched that i put up the video it went up it went up even more is at a dollar a dollar 80 then it was at a dollar uh, 50 when i had started making the video and yeah it just keeps going up since they announced that smart chain good stuff there but yeah you come over to Mo coin market cap click in your you know the coins that you got in your portfolio and, and the coins that maybe you're interested in buying or that type of stuff and then you can come in here it's got the seven day and 24 hour down right now is a great time to buy ubx and i actually just bought some ubx right now is a great time to buy r it got pumped uh, a lot of people were blaming the dollar vigilante crew but um i actually saw some different pump groups pumping that coin i had bought it beforehand and um put it into the coinx amm and just gained some fees but you know it's got a sharp down uh cot that's one i'm uh, interested in now that uh, you can do a you know you can stick it on bank that'll be a uh, later video there but uh, slowly accumulating cot at the moment very undervalued project cti super far down brg as far as it's ever down down i think we're at all time lows there would be a great time to get some of that uh vid is down but not very hard i'm still looking to move in there syntropy it's down but not too hard only you know four percent for the day eleven percent for seven days and it did have a big run before that win is down but it's doing great btt is extremely far down but hopefully we get some of that volatility back and um see here's a good thing with with a lot of these ones when they hit super low that's a good time to set up like a long-term bits gap bot because the upside potential versus the downside risk is ridiculous, right? I mean, you got five, it's five to one for going up versus going down. So it's like, that's for me being more of a long-term uh, crypto investor. I and a long-term holder of a lot of these projects. I like to buy when they're down, you know, when this stuff goes down, that's when I like to get in. I'm not too big on getting in when things are at the top, you know, like buying who right now when it's 95% up, uh, not too great, but with all the announcements, I mean, look at that chart with all the announcements, it may be going up a lot more. So jumping into these projects that are hitting sometimes is a great way to go. Sometimes not so much. I was going to uh, buy into phantom the other day and it had just pumped like that day so much that, uh, I held back. So I'm looking for a pullback there. Um, sold somatic when it was way up and put it into some other projects that i uh, are going to be uh, doing good and then like like linear here i loaded into that when it dropped hard when it super crashed 
I just kept buying in and now I'm way, way up on all of them. And so one thing that you could do with Bitscap is set these bots up when the thing when the thing is way down. And if you, you know, can do that, like for instance, let's head over and look at this bot. I ran it so many times. I ran this bot probably five or six times, maybe 10 times now. I don't know the exact amount of times, but I just let it earn and I just let it grab coin, right? See, so right now being in here somewhere in this tight range is nice for this bot, right? It's just because these things eat up volatility as the price goes up, it sell, 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 as the price goes down, buy, buy, buy. You don't see the history because um, because I just relaunched this bot. But, you know, the reason I really like this and let's head over to a four hour chart, which is, you know, that's always what you want to look for, like to get you know, to do your big picture look, you always want a big picture look everything, right? The four hour is a fantastic way to do that. That's generally the best chart for your uh, for your macro look, right? So look where we're at now, down here, right? This is a good time to set up the bot in my estimation because downside risk, not too much. Upside potential, pretty great even if you get out of this pump here and look to where the price had sustained for a while you got a huge rise there right two dollars from 60 cents that's a good thing to set a bot up on because we got some decent volatility but the chances of it of getting a pump here of you know even a small one even a five ten percent one is pretty good and the chance of getting that equally on the other side is not so good so this is a safer way to go however you can you know chase after pumps that's not a bad not a bad thing to do like right now some people are uh, not liking the ubx eth bot because it's crashing so hard to me that's consolidation time because what will happen is i will end up with so much ubx right i mean I'm just i just keep getting more and more and more yes i have 0 0.09 uh, eth in open orders they could all turn to ubx you know, I just added some more ETH to this and I bought some UBX on the open market because it's so low. And then when this thing starts trading up again or hits a bigger pump, my stash of UBX will be huge, right? And as this goes up, the bot will slowly turn all that UBX back into ETH at better and better prices, right? <laughs> so, you know, it works pretty good for, for that scenario because as UBX, you know, as I'm gathering it all right now, I'll still have all that UBX in the bot. I'll end up relaunching the bot later on with a whole bunch more UBX that is worth a whole bunch more. So I'm trying to gather as much UBX as possible because to me, that's a long term hold for an alt. A lot of good stuff, a lot of good innovation, a lot of we're not going to get into the UBX project. We'll be here all day. It is a great project. But my point is that as this goes down and I can accumulate more of this, that really helps me for the future, right? That's gonna make my future profits go crazy, just like it is for this, for that other one I was showing you, for the um, KLV TRX. Now my KLV pile has gotten so big that when that thing finally has its heyday, I will end up with a whole, whole bunch of Tron over here in my, uh, in my Tron, you know, over here in where my assets get so what happens like see how this one went out of range here this cti and i just went and showed you cti it's way down to me that's when i buy when things are way down so this thing is out of range and and cti is probably my least favorite project of every product i've bought into but it's got a solid team it's got deflationary economics it's got a whole bunch of really solid stuff that foreign alt I like including a super small market cap. So, you know, it's got a good ways to grow and it usually trades quite well. And the reason it's not trading well now is because it's been out of range for a while. But at the moment, I need to earn some more ETH. So what I'll do to manage this bot is tomorrow, you know, I've been getting probably four four hundred dollars worth of four hundred dollars worth of eth just about every single day over here is because i have a lot of money pumping out eth i have this Bax eth bot pumping out eth i have this xyo bot pumping out eth and you know it's pumping out two percent a day on this half eth and this Bax is pumping out 2.83 percent a day on 0.76 eth and then i have you know this bot which isn't doing crap right it's eating eth at the moment and then this fx eth it's kind of eating eth at the moment but it is pumped out 1.22 percent in uh i use this to buy the dip on fx 
um, what just like I did on um, AXPR, I made a video about it. Go ahead and watch that. Buying that dip there worked perfectly. But we'll look at that in one sec. Let's look at this CTI ETH. So the CTI ETH bot, as it's coming down, everything's buying me ETH, right? Everything that's earning me ETH. Tomorrow, when I have enough ETH, I'll come and add that ETH. You know, when it says I already took that ETH for today and added it to something, to whatever was low. And then when things are all ranging high, I take that ETH, I put it into new profits, but into new, you know, into new coins that I want to have bots on later. And what's good about that is you have these little pile of coins. It gives you coins to switch in and out of, right? For instance, I'm not trading Cody right here, but if Cody becomes much more tradable, more tradable than these other coins, then I'll, you know, jump out of high performance blockchain and jump into Cody keeping all my high performance blockchain so that you know you can go check volatility whatever's ranging best for volatility if you're in my group i'm already helping you with that um and run that higher volatility bot letting your other coin rest just you know that's an option for you to do once you've built up your portfolio a little bit if you haven't as of yet so tomorrow i'll take my eth and i'll add it to this bot and i'll buy some more cti on the cheap and you know when it's coming down into this range because look at how much upside potential we have a lot we still have a little more downside potential if it comes down here i will be buying more all of the profits that i'm earning from here i will be buying more of whatever is the lowest and you guys can have whatever strategy you want some people would rather trade on volume some people would rather trade but for me i trade what's low and if you look here we're actually you know we're oversold um on the uh money flow but you know it could stay undersold for a little while but to me when something that's the time to set up a bot when something's ranged really low like right now this is a killer time to set up a cti bot to me oversold we have, you know, at the bottom of a huge, huge range, a lot of upside potential, not a lot of downside potential. This is a great bot to be in for the first time. I've ran this bot a whole, whole bunch of times. So one thing, this number here means nothing when you are, uh, when you've ran the bot multiple times. That only matters for the very first time. And like, like this bot here, FXE, I'm pretty upside down on this but I had a feeling it was gonna dip and I was looking to buy the dip at the time. And so that's what I've done. And like I was saying about the AXPR bot, I made a video showing, saying, you know, I was hoping this dipped. I came in here, I went from right at this point and this, and some people would consider this a backwards way to run the bot, right? <laughs> you know, if you look at the uh, the bids gap main guy, he would consider this rather backwards because I was trying to buy the dip, right? I set the bot up right here. I put a whole bunch of ETH down in this direction, down to, you know, about here and ho hoped that it dipped because I wanted to get a good buy into AXPR. And so it bought it. Then it sold it all. Great. Got a little more. Bought it. Bought it. Now it's starting to buy and sell it. Starting to trade it. And if it goes down a little more, great. I want some more of this coin because I want to use this coin, um, you know, for the long term for uh, running different bots on. Running that pair on whatever can be ran. And you can just type in here so I can run it against BTC or ETH and uh, switch it up however I like. And uh, there we go. So I've been earning about four, I don't know, 400 to 1200 a day. <laughs> Not bad. Um, for the month, um, last month I made 18 grand on this account. I know I'm trading with a little bit, you know, so it says 37, right? And I'm say I'm earning a thousand a day, which it's not, I'm earning less than that 400 to a thousand a day, and sometimes more, but anyway, 400 to a thousand a day, and I have what 37 in here. So if you had 3,700, you could earn from 40 to 100 a day, right? And if you had three hundred and seventy dollars you would earn four dollars to uh, ten dollars a day so you know play the zero game that way so tomorrow i will relaunch this cti bot and uh, once i get a little more eth built up <laughs> i got some earning tron some earning eth one earning kcs it's my least performing bot 0.75 but uh 
it's doing its thing. You can't really count these ones that just started, even though that is a poor performance for the day from BTT. I expect BTT to do pretty amazing things um, pretty soon. So it uh, looks like we're going to turn this just into a, a bits gap. <laughs> A bits gap video or it will be too long so um, no big deal I love bits gap and uh, this is where I've got a lot going on probably gonna be starting a second account soon but for now I want to just get this loaded up to where I want to keep building the account building the account to where I have 60 grand trading on 15 bots and then uh, I will start another ground account after that and remember you know I've I started, you know, a long, quite a long time ago, not counting the Bitcoin that I bought, you know, way early on and just put into cold storage. Um, other than that, I put, you know, like $4,000 in the crypto game. I turned that into 40 grand and I lost most of that. And uh, this is way back. And now I've turned that well over to, I mean, I'm way past 100 grand on just exchanges and uh, have a whole, whole bunch of other crypto investments that uh, pay me on the regular. And so that's what we look to do, stack up those crypto gains, right? All right, let's just go through these other platforms real quick. Um, Hyperfund, Hyperfund has been doing pretty great for me. Um, just been cranking out over there. And um, where are we at here? And on this account, I've been earning about, I have two accounts here. And uh, total, I'm earning well over $100 every single day. And it just pays out and pays out. I really like it a lot. Um, they've gotten a little bit uh, picky and anal about the um, about the way you promote. They actually had me take down my website and anyone with like a pirate website that's like you know like with all your videos on one little website. They're making you take that down if it has if they don't like what's on it. So uh, that's a little centralized for my liking. I'm not really into that, but maybe it shows that they are you know following the regulations super super tight and uh, they're gonna be around for a long time and that's what i'm hoping but look i made 55 dollars just today off my 20 off this that's i don't actually have 28,000 in there i have less than 10 because you have one third of what's in there right your total rewards you get three times or whatever you staked in there you get paid out in mof you're basically farming mof with dollars and you get triple the rewards of whatever you're paid out your mof you can sell on anywhere the that's a crypto called molecular of the future i'm sure most of you are aware of that this thing pays out on the regular i use this to buy you know alts on who exchange quite a bit and i also use this to uh you know re-up different things help grease the wheels uh all that good stuff and i'm doing quite a bit of reinvesting um as well so that's how that's working i'm going to actually um once this gets to 30 grand, I'm going to be, I'm going to open up a third account and reinvest all of this into that third account. So this will be, you know, because as you open another account, it speeds up the one above you, right? So this, this amount of, you know, this like 10 grand that I have running here makes my top account go a lot quicker and I'm earning way over the five, you know, 0.5% a day. Um, they pay you uh, some of this money in uh, like this certified awards that you have you get these certified rewards and with those you can jump into um different it's this one here certified i don't have any because i just used it all to get into the mars mall so these guys just launched a mall called called the mars mall and uh and I actually, I, I wish I'd held off some of my coins because they're they're probably going to do another one before too long and I won't have a, a bunch of powder for that one. But I did drop all that money onto the Mars Mall coin and uh, I then we came out to find out that you basically use it for like one for one for dollars or something in their mall and you can buy sunglasses and whatever the hell, like Amazon type stuff. Not really my type of thing. I'd rather have a crypto that I could sell, trade, and move around in the crypto markets, but you know, whatever, it's a bonus and uh, I'll take it. These guys just pay out like clockwork. They're owned by, you know, big billionaires who have ridiculous portfolios. And right now their portfolios are worth billions and billions because we're in this big bull market. Now, in my estimation, in all business, you need to take care of cash flow first. So having this pay out the $100 a day and like having that steadily drip to me, even though I'm reinvesting half of it. So, you know, $100 every other day, at least, um, 
that really, really helps because, you know, I'm just juicing my accounts, right? And if I ever get kind of stuck in a little trade, it gives me a little juice to help get out of that trade. And just like any other trade where you're managing like leverage trades, managing these bots is very similar. Add a little money here, take out money when it's doing really well, but it takes it out for you. So that part's done but that managing the bots and putting the money back in the bots that that crap's important and you want to you know stay on top of that and do all of that next let's head over to quibit life quibit life um no reason to really go into my account but they've just been paying out and paying out and i certainly do uh like this company a great great deal um they have a lot going on you know they built their own blockchain called q chain they have an ieo right now they're uh they have so much going on. Their signals are really good. I do subscribe to the signals and I pay into that. If you're in my bits crap group, I accidentally give you those signals all the time. Don't tell anyone. Um, but we do those signals. I mean, we're in a bunch of signal groups in the bit gaps in the bits gap group. The only way to get in the bits gap group is to join my bits gap team. And uh, me and my crypto projects are running that and, um, you know, trying to help out everyone we can and talk to as much people as we can. And I pay for a bunch of signals and I post all the signals in there the signals are ideas guys you know they're not like holy grails you need to go look at it and decide whether it's a coin you like so anyway back to quibit life quibit life says i've been making a hundred dollars a day here as well and withdrawing most of that reinvesting about a third of it i'm on house money already and making that hundred bucks a day so this platform is just crazy good they have you know all those uh besides having their own coin besides having their blockchain they have like all these different classes they're incubating other projects they have um yeah just a lot this is probably one of the biggest and best ecosystems that has like transpired that has come out of a uh trading platform right so yeah really liking these guys quite a bit and long may they live long may they pay having this steady cash flow as part uh you know coming in that really really helps me and uh <laughs> that's what i like to do is you know take profits from trading buy some passive income let that passive income juice my profits so right now that it we're bull running i'm really not trying to buy too much passive income i'm buying coins um and projects and things that are going to run um but as i take profits i will add back into my positions into you know the best passive incomes out there which for me is quibit life you know clearly hyper fund clearly impulse x which we'll talk about in one sec and i think daisy's also going to be in that group daisy's still got quite a few problems let's talk about them real quick they you know they're having some issues um with um the things not showing in the back office and all that good stuff these guys have a fintech mindset so they really just assume that everyone wants to just reinvest forever and you know even though i do for a while uh they don't really have a crypto mindset so much they're very much uh, slower <laughs> they don't build quite as quick but they do it right right Ooh, interesting we're getting a red and green um sentiment on the market so that's pretty interesting very very interesting normally this is green or red or silver if it's neutral but right now it's green and red probably probably interesting you know alts are bleeding a little bit but now's a good time to uh, load up on some alts so uh let's see last but not least let's go talk about impulse x all right impulse x is uh I, I really like this company. You know, this is part of the whole Eureka blockchain, ERK, um, IPX is the coin they have here. Actually, they just released the white paper for um, Impulse X. And so I think that, uh, you know, that's going that's going to be interesting. I meant to read that tonight, but I didn't quite get to it. <laughs> okay, Impulse X, like I said, they've just come out with their white paper. Um, and for the IPX token, I haven't um, read it. I did buy some, uh, you know, I bought into this um, Impulse X. They're having an airdrop if you want to get in on that. This is, you know, probably a good coin to get a hold of. 
more of a long-term play. These guys are kind of slow builders, <laughs> kind of like Daisy. Um, but, you know, these guys are you pay out there. It's freaking awesome. Actually, I love this quite a bit. And I know 2.5% a week may not sound like much, but when you are compounding every single week, it really builds up quick. And it's nice. And these guys pay out in Tron, or you can actually pay out in the IPX token, ERK, a lot of different coins that you, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the big ones, and uh, Litecoin, you know, but um, this really adds up, you know. You can also set these bots up to trade on your account, but just sending in there, letting them deal with it, and doing getting the 2.5%. Yes, crypto might be going quicker than that, but this is money that stays, that's locked in. You know, they're forever packages. So it's just like having money in a trading account or tr having the money in a trading account and having the bots run it. That money's always there. You don't lose it, and you just get paid out on it over and over, and uh, you can reinvest. These guys have such a large and massive ecosystem, you know, with Credit Cleaner. They, they're launching, like, two other coins, including a game coin and all sorts of stuff. And the reason I like that is because it backs up Impulse X. Um, they are they have they do have an exchange and they're building it even bigger and better but they're slow movers about building stuff um but you know they do do it right when they do something it's usually done correctly but anyway really liking it over there let's go check out my account i have three thousand six hundred and ninety dollars i'm trying to get this up to five thousand dollars and then just pretty much withdraw for the rest of all time <laughs> but uh, i've gotten 100 dollars this week so let's go ahead and reinvest that and uh get get on the way right so if i'm getting you know at least 400 you know, 400 a month i should have this up pretty quick i might actually just take a grand and throw it in here at some point um yeah right when there's not a coin that i want to purchase <laughs> their trade but anyway here we go let's purchase some packs just steady passive income in dollars, in cash, you know? I like that. So here we go. We're getting um, 11 of these. We're going to use my wallet. We're going to submit. And I'll be back next week to do this again. I am now at $3,800. So, you know, not too long. <laughs> this will join the paying out. And once this is, this is, you know, at that 5,000, I should be getting, you know, well over a hundred dollars every single week to be thrown in the trading account. That's a new trade every single week, you know, or a new position to get into. And that's how I work it. I get cash flow. I have that cash flow coming in. I also have an advertising leg of, you know, a little marketing side of what I do, but not really part of the passive, uh, crypto income side of things but it does help all those things help you know uh, and I should probably do a video just kind of give an entire outline of my strategy and all that but uh, I think if you've been with me for a while you understand most of that anyway I've been just rambling on I've been liking everything that's going on and uh, I'm definitely going to have a, uh, a $20,000 month or more <laughs> And I'll still have all of my crypto. I'll still have all of my accounts. So things are going great. I hope things are going great for you guys too. Please join my team. If you're looking to get on Bitsgap, we are the most profitable Bitsgap group out there. I have people in there earning percentages all the time, sharing their stuff, and uh, we get signals constantly. And um, Bitsgap is the, the, the number one way, in my opinion. Oh, hey, we didn't talk about Coinex. That's like the biggest thing I need to... One of the bigger things I wanted to talk about. So really quick, Coinex, the AMM account. Okay, so the AMM account is interesting. I've been testing this for over a week now. And, and let's go to earnings. And it fluctuates a lot. I mean, I got like $70 one day on one of the pools and eight and $9 the next day on one of the pools. So, <laughs> you know... Here's the earnings like today, $23 I earned on this pool, 45 cents on this pool, $4. And these just pays in every day. This is crypto I am holding anyway. All this crypto that's in here, I have anyway, except for the USDT that I have in this uh, store, Jay, because I don't hold on to USDT except to buy stuff with. <laughs> so, you know, I don't hold USDT for the long term at all. So there is... Um, Every single day, like look, $71 on R this day and then $25 the next day. It really fluctuates a lot. Ontology, uh, Bitcoin pairing, I made $16 this day, which, and it shows you exactly what you get, right? So here on this one, I got four 
0.9 ontology and 0.000155 uh, Bitcoin. And then like on this day, I got 1.31 R and... And, you know, maybe the price of R has been dropping because it got pumped, which is fine. I'm looking to get as much as I can. I want to, you know, have over 1,000 R and only have 400 now. But, you know, as the price gets down, if the trading fees stay up, you get more R, right? I mean, because, like, look, I earned $23. That's 1.7 R and 00019 BTC to where... Um, you know, would have been a little bit more than that before. And let's go see. I, you know, like I said, I've re, I started with 300. I purchased a little bit more and then I, uh, and then I had it at 400 R just the other day. And now I'm at 432 R. So I've earned 32 R and just like, I guess you're supposed to say, Arr, I earned 32 of them in you know, just the past couple days on crypto. I would have had sitting in here anyway. I can't trade R anywhere on my uh, on my bots or any of that. So I am happy to be growing it. I've been growing Zill here. I really want to probably going to put that in the Zill pool and earn Zwap, but uh, been earning here and uh, you know, not too bad. It fluctuates around. Today was 121. And I've had this up to like, you know, 0.5% for the day, which is great. You know, this is much less than that because these are APYs. APY is compounded for you, right? So uh, I have CET ETH in here. It earns pretty much nothing, but I had the CET and the ETH anyway. So I figured I'd throw it in here and earn a little bit extra. And like I showed you, the payments just pump out. And I like that a lot. I like the way it just feeds my account and every single day just on the crypto i already have anyway it just pays me look at 40 dollars, 24 dollars, 16 dollars, and uh, you can see the days here on you know the 29th i made all of this and then i've since sold all my ban and bought more r when r dropped down a little bit because i'd rather have r uh, than banana coin and um yeah, so it just earns every single day. I like it. And so on crypto, I would already have. Thanks, CoinX. I really like this. And uh, the coin's been popping. Um, I'm holding quite a few CoinX coins at this point. Um, well, I have a whole bunch in locked up here in that pool. Like thousands of them. And then I have another 14,000 here. I think total, I'm about 30,000 um, CET. Would like to uh, have more, but I'm going to leave it at that and uh, let some let my CET earn a little bit for me. So there's all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I know this was a rambling video, a bit long, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will catch you guys on the flip. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And uh, catch you on the next one, guys. I'm out.